Lions Rock Productions. The things we learn about as we do the show is all these different things kind of tie together. And we look at, you know, a two-party system that the parties evolve all the time. We often focus on presidents because we can remember their names, maybe. Uh, but I think it's a very senators. handy way to learn American history. Okay. Yeah. If you try to learn the whole thing in one big bite, you're going to choke on it. So presidents right. enable you to take smaller bite-sized bites. But the people that have the real power are often not that president. I mean, if you look at someone like Hoover, you couldn't pick a better person, better resume for president. You know, uh, we've done this a lot. George Bush the Elder had a great resume for president. President Obama has essentially no resume for president, you know, right. and we have all these different outcomes. So it's really hard to know like what what the qualifications for a good president are. You could never elect a self-educated guy who grew up in a log cabin anymore. Like those days are probably gone. But what uh, what are the hallmarks of someone you think that are that are successful? Because we just we suck at picking this though, reliably. Well, political skills. I mean, administrative skills are one thing. You know, Hoover has all the administrative skills. He has like zero minus zero political skills. And then you have Franklin Roosevelt, who is, you know, creating all these rivalries within his administration. It's going to be Ickes versus Hopkins versus this guy versus that guy. And people are feuding. And then you take a look at who's leaving by the time of the third term and whatever. And all the changes he makes from what he's running on in 1932 and how the first New Deal is different from the second New Deal. And it looks like a ball of confusion, but yet, you know, four terms. Why? Because he, he has the political skills. He has the skills to communicate what he wants at any given point uh, and to reassure people, to reassure people, to, to create this persona of, you know, I'm on your side. I'm not someone to be afraid of. And if things are starting to go wrong or, you know, You've still got 17% unemployment in 1938. Trust me, it's get better. It'll get better. And also the skill of knowing who to run against. Hmm. And Franklin Roosevelt always has these, has, uh, it's a great good fortune to as long as he's in to still be running against Hoover, Herbert Hoover and the depression of 1936 and against the media. Against the media. There's a drumbeat in his uh, once he's the president, to run against the media, just as we see in more recent terms. And that's that's one of the great failures of, well, I don't want to get into the current, current situations, but I mean, you know, political skills and being able to reassure people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, really are, are key. That's, that's, that's what you're in part elected by and what you're elected for. 